up, fine apples? Welcome back to my channel. So today is the day where I'm going to bring you into my food pantry because it's an absolute mess. Now, I've been wanting to add more home and more lifestyle into my channel and today's the day. We just had like an incident with ants and stuff like that and I cannot stand ants. We just sprayed our house and all that so the last couple of days I have not spotted very many ants, just very, very few. So I wanna give a shout out to my vlog people. They told me about Ortho Home, that it's safe for dogs as well because my dog's back there. Yeah, he's staring at me, judging me like, what are you doing? Ah, Cujo. Yeah, not amused? All right, totally worked, but unfortunately when we found out it's because they were already attacking our stuff. Some stuff wasn't seal sealed very tight and I'm kind of upset because I was supposed to do this video probably like two to three weeks ago. I'm really excited. I mean, I know people love organizational videos. I love watching them. So yeah, so hopefully you guys will enjoy. Also, if you have not become a part of the Fine Apple Tribe, don't forget to subscribe because it is free 99. <laughs> I haven't done that in such a long time. So I'm excited. Let's bring you through my pants. Entry. All right, are you guys prepared? We're about to enter. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Above, we have like some pancake mixes, some rice saveroni, uh, lasagna noodles, spaghetti, ramen, an extra ketchup, and oh, there's the emergency. I couldn't find it. Tortilla strips, like crackers. We have breadcrumbs in this one, um, you know, like random packets. All just random stuff. Now, this one is such a mess, you guys. We have King's Hawaiian bread, emergency, because I couldn't find it. I didn't know it was all the way back there, but if I would have organized, I would have seen that. It's okay, we need extra all the time. An empty cereal canister because Glenn just finished it. Hot dog buns, honey, panko breadcrumbs, Lipton. Back there we have granola bars. Okay, so next up we have canned goods and just stuff that I cook with. We have some sauces on the side. But with this shelf, I actually wanna switch it with this one because I have all my seasonings down there and they're so low that I actually wanna bring them up. And I feel like I'm grabbing seasonings way more than cans. We don't eat like the canned stuff all of the time. So I'm grabbing seasonings 24 seven. So since I am 5'9", I'm like constantly bending down and like reaching and like looking. And it's, I think it'll just be easier if I brought it up here and then I could see all the seasonings much better. And then down below, we just have like a big ass bag of croutons, some skinny pop, chips, granola, our rice. Um, don't judge our rice container. You guys know what's up if you guys have containers like that. Now I'm going to show you the stuff that I picked up at Amazon and also Target. Most of the stuff is from Amazon, like the main like gist of all the containers. I found a brand that seemed really reasonable. Uh, a lot of these containers can be super pricey. And I wanted to get a good quality one, but also not have to spend like a ton of money and just waste money. First off, I have these buckets from Target. Now I do have like one in in here but like in our last house we didn't really have a huge pantry it was very very small so we didn't have like a lot to organize so that's why I didn't really have anything to begin with they're just called storage baskets and I figured either way I know I'm gonna use them so I got like a small one one that looks like you know long and rectangular and then like a more fatter square one targets really good with returns and I kept my receipt so if I end up not using them I can always return them okay so I got these two containers from Target and this is the OXO brand there's ex they're extremely popular I was kind of sad because when I bought all my stuff I found the OXO brand at Costco for a great price, but I still think that I got more pieces in the set that I got from Amazon, and for a cheaper price, I'm gonna have to check. The only reason why I got these two was because they were 30% off, and I thought that was such a steal because I've never seen a, like a true sale. Okay, so now to the stuff I got from Amazon. So whenever I was looking at pantry organizational videos, a lot of people had these little Lazy Susans, and I honestly never knew that people would use this. Well, I never really looked into this because I never had to before, but hey, I'm learning. So this is one piece that I got and I saw that they would put like granola bars or uh, like powder packets, uh, all sorts of things. Like if they had kids, they put like apple applesauce packets or something like that, like the little squeezable things. But I was excited because I thought, okay, this could be really good to like just find things instead of like having to reach all the way in the back. This is like pretty clutch to me in my opinion. So we're gonna see how this is gonna work out. This is from M Design. Now this brand was super popular on Amazon, had really high reviews and very reasonable prices. Now there were some that were like freaking $50. I was like, for a piece of plastic that turns, uh, no. Everything I got was either on sale or super, super reasonable, and I compared everything to other brands. Now, the star of the show 
that I picked up was this baby. And it is by Dragon, and it's a 10-piece airtight fast lock container set. I'm really excited for this one. This was like the best deal, and the reviews were really good. Like I was looking at all the customer pictures on Amazon, and I love it whenever customers do that, just because it gives you like a really good sense of how everything is. Oh, I also wanna say we already previously owned an OXO container. This is just an airtight one where you can put your cereal. This is perfect because you see how much you have left. It's visible. You can just pour it straight into the bowl. I'm just gonna open this baby up. I'm like super Amazon as well. I, I put this in one of my Amazon favorites. So I wanna open it up with you guys just so we can see how it's really packed. Okay, so it's really nicely packed. And I like how they're completely covered because I don't like it when things aren't wrapped because then they're able to be scratched and hit against each other. So now I'm just gonna look at these ones because I wanna see how the quality is. The main thing with these is that there was this little latch right here and people said that it makes it so airtight. So that was pretty easy to open because I also read reviews on some that it said it was too hard to open or they didn't close tight all the way. But now let me just show you what it looks like. So it's this little container right here and then it has a little clear top, which I really like. And then say like we're just gonna close our snack and then you just, whoop, and it closes it. Okay, that's actually really sturdy. Yeah, that's nice. And I like how easy it is to open it. That's really good because I could tell that it's totally airtight but it's easy for people to open it. Do you approve? Do you like this? Yeah? Okay, good. Maybe it'll hold some of your snacks. Hold on guys, it's their treat time. And one for you. I think it looks nice, nothing is scratched. It feels really durable. That's what I was scared about because when you like look at the EXO packages, they look really nice and they feel super heavy. I will say this does feel lighter, but there's no price comparison, like it's not worth it. These are much more pricier, but if you can get a good 30% off, I totally would do it. The difference with the OXO containers is that you actually push it. It is a little harder to push it. You need more force because just by going like that, you really have to push it. So if you have children or anything like this, maybe this might be easier for you to protect whatever you need to protect or guard in your pantry. I'm just putting it out there for like the moms who watch me and stuff. <laughs> behind me and I will say I have a lot of good shapes and sizes and I feel like I might not even need these ones in the end we'll see and I totally forgot to show you guys that I got this as well that would have sucked so I ended up picking up a double set from M design again it's another lazy Susan well I know a lot of people use these ones for spices it's just like a little spinny one and then you put this one right here so obviously these go in here gonna stick them right in there. I remember I got this for spices. I love to cook. I deal with a lot of spices. So I ended up getting the two pack and it spins. So whenever I'm reaching for spices, I'm kind of tossing them all around and it'll just be so easy just to circle these around. And plus what I like about it is that it's taking up space going up instead of wide. As opposed to having like the spice racks that I do have, they just extend and they pile, 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 pile without using the space up above. So now the time has come where I have to empty out everything out of my pantry. Wish me luck. and toss out anything that may be expired or we don't need. I'm not gonna go through that stuff just because it's gonna take me a while and that's like a lot of footage to show, but I'm just gonna go through everything and then I'm gonna start organizing. I'm just putting them just to see what's gonna fit in there. Down below, I have my little Lazy Susan ones, the little spinning ones those ones and then I already had that container, this container, which I might end up using for like the packets and stuff. Uh, I don't know where I got this from. It was InterDesign or maybe Container Store. So I'll try to find out. Oh, I think it was Container Store. It matches this, so I'm gonna place that right there. Down below, which I didn't think I was gonna have them there, I ended up putting like those canisters 
just because they're tall, so they have to be there. I feel like I don't have that many canned goods. And for my old spices, this is what I was using as well. I was using this baby, and I know I got this from Container Store, so um, I think I'm gonna use this for my cans just because it really matches everything. And the other one that I have doesn't, it's white and gray one from Target, and I don't think it matches that well. I mean, I could, I mean, it, it's okay. I don't like it. It's dirty, it's bent, it's sticky, and I don't want it. I want everything nice and fresh. So this one, I'm just gonna let go, and then I'm gonna try to use those. So down below, this is what I did. I put the two bins from Target, and then I have this one right here, and then our rice container. So I'm just gonna put all the chips together. I also have a skinny pop so I'm gonna stick this one back here just because it is large that one's from Costco and then we also have some pretzels all of my made good granola snacks it'll be easy to kind of grab them I don't know if this has ever been done but I'm gonna do it so I had lasagna and spaghetti and I ended up just putting them together just because the lasagna is really easy to separate from the spaghetti so I just put it all in one just because we don't eat pasta like all of the time so I didn't want to just put one canister for spaghetti, one for the lasagna, and I think it works out okay. I'm so happy because I was able to empty out this bag and all our croutons fit in this container right here. So I'm gonna keep our croutons in this one right there. Okay guys, so I actually have a method to this madness right now, if you guys saw me like moving things around. So let's start off with the left hand side. What I ended up doing was putting like the more sweet stuff like cinnamon, simply, um, simply organic vanilla, cinnamon sugar, and nutmeg. Down below I have like lemon pepper, sea salt, garlic powder, everything seasoning. Like a lot of the seasonings I do use. And then I decided, okay, I'm gonna put all my large seasonings at the bottom, because I already know what these ones are, the Flavor God, Gourmet Burger and Kickin' Chicken, like the large ones, because these are substantially larger than the other ones. And then up above, I brought all my stuff that I use for like Cajun dishes, like when I do um, Cajun mahi-mahi, or I wanna do a shrimp boil. These are all the seasonings I use, like the chili powder, the paprika, red pepper, the boil sauce. And you, of course, gotta have the Old Bay. So I thought that that worked out really well. I accidentally forgot some stuff, so I'm gonna just stick it up here, right there, and right there. Okay guys, so I went ahead and just put the packets. I just have taco seasoning mix, and then I have this lettuce wrap kind of sauce. So, and then, oops, and then I have another one in the back. So I might just stick that in the back. I just use just to refill like my, my salt holder. <laughs> Okay, and then what I also did was I moved those to the side because this one, I don't know, they were, it was just, I, I don't use pasta all the time, so I just stuck the pasta in the back. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Then I put the croutons, and then the cereal container will go right here whenever we do buy a cereal, and then I'm just gonna start putting the cans down below. So I still kind of keep my idea of having the snacks to the cans and then up to like the seasonings and all that. And then this part, I'm gonna figure all of that out because I have to start using some of, some more of those containers. So I did it. So I went ahead and put all the ingredients. I thought I wasn't gonna use all of them and I ended up using every single one. Also the OXO ones. So let me show you. So I put my sugar. I had two packages of crispy onions. Don't ask me why, probably from Thanksgiving. They weren't expired. I tossed everything that was expired. Some mandarin oranges. I have granola back there. Um, banana chips, brown sugar, panko breadcrumbs, and then I have, what is that? Oh, regular breadcrumbs, panko. Then over here is the pancake mix and the OXO container. And then I have flour, which I need to replenish, which I'm really excited to like see all these containers because then I know like what I have to get again. Then I decided to switch it up and add, sorry, that's my mic, add this little basket because I was gonna put it at top and I thought, you know what, I don't wanna put bread and stuff. I wanna be able to really see it and stuff that's gonna go bad, like crackers, bread. I have seaweed, kind of like miscellaneous stuff, but stuff I don't wanna forget about. And then over here, I ended up putting the Lazy Susan and I figured it's perfect because 
all you do is just spin it and I could see everything. And I don't use that every single day and that's the whole point, out of convenience. Now if I had to reach to the back for this, now that's inconvenient. So that's why I switched it. And then back here I just have a basket I can just pull out and it has like a bunch of random stuff like smart sweets, some tea my friend brought me from London, Limp not this one, not Lipton, but this one, um, beef jerky and some candy. I might put actually the beef jerky down below here. And then right there I have all the heavy bottles, which I like that it's right here at that level. I have my two Lazy Susans. I added in the honey, because remember I said I had like all the sweet stuff on there. Um, I found the sprinkles, so I forgot to put those, just added that. And then I have all the other seasonings. Then I went ahead and took out the little Asian sauce packets for the lettuce, and I put it up with the other um, sauces I use, and I put our oatmeal right here just so I feel like we can see it and it's easily accessible and then we know we can have that and then I just ended up leaving the packet there and then the extra sugar and salt in the back. I have all the cans and I didn't show you this part but I kind of had a struggle because these cans right here they don't all fit in the clear thing but you can't tell. I had to like shove some of them and rearrange them but I don't mind and then these ones aren't in slots so I just put them in front. Didn't really bother me. I mean I could still see everything and I feel like now I can see what ingredients I have. Like I had no idea I had two refried beans and I had two manwiches. Uh, yeah, so now I'm happy because now I can see what we have and we won't waste it. I mean, I do have a lot of tuna because we eat a lot of tuna sandwiches, but I have the cereal right here, the croutons, and then in the back, the pasta. And last but not least, the bottom. So now for the bottom portion of the pantry, I still kept the little rice bucket just because Glenn's mom gave it to us and it's very easy and we love it. The skinny pop, I put the little banana chips and the pretzels. I kind of debated putting pretzels in the container, but I don't want to put like too many snacks that aren't opened already in the container chips and all of that and then the granola and then I ended up putting the emergency down below just because I feel like it should be readily accessible and we should see it bars are going to expire within the next two to three months so I want them just to be visible since they're in the cupboard they're hidden and I want us to be able just to grab and go whenever we want a snack and we don't forget that we have them we did it you guys oh it took three hours it seems like a long time but I just wanted to make sure I had everything right because I was really rearranging and all that and still figuring things out like I want to add some labels to the containers as well. I'm just so glad to get rid of what was expired. Now I can see what we have, I can utilize, we won't be wasteful and that's amazing. All right, fine apples, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole entire pantry clean out and pantry organization with me. Uh, thank you so much. I'll link everything down below that I used in case you guys are interested in using it. I'm super happy with all the containers. I was like really examining them and they all look really good. And yeah, I'm really happy. All right, fine apples. I'll see you guys in the next one. Boop, boop.